In today's video, we're going to do something a bit different, but fun. This was all inspired by Juliana Chan, who creates videos on Instagram and LinkedIn. Now, what she does is she takes a simple or basic statement and she turns it into LinkedInese. So it's, for example, instead of saying that something was beautiful, she'll say that that was a truly inspiring encounter with a wonderful object. So what I wanted to do was create a quick little online web app that does that for you. You give it a simple statement, turns it into LinkedInese. Now we're not gonna manually code that. We're going to use one of these Vibe coding platforms, which is a platform where you can use natural language and then the platform codes it. Now, why am I going to use a Vibe coding platform to do this? Well, because this is a very fun, small little project. It's nothing too serious. And this is something that you can do for your own use in class. You can use these platforms to create fun little web apps or little games for your students specific for a lesson. Maybe it's something you want to use in a single lesson or a single unit. You can vibe code a quick little personalized application. So let's get started. Now I'm going to first show you what we'll create or what I've created. Now I'll leave a link to this little web app down below so you can play around with it and see, is this something I'd like to make myself? So here you can say, enter a simple statement. We're going to see, I am feeling very tired today. Very basic statement. Let's transform this into a LinkedIn speech or as Juliana Chan calls it, LinkedInese. You can see here, Navigating the complexities of today's dynamic professional landscape can be invigorating, yet undeniably demanding. As an unwavering champion of innovation and resilience, I transform moments of fatigue into opportunities for growth and strategic insight. As you can see, this is something you would definitely read on LinkedIn. So the application is working. Now this took me less than a minute to make. So go ahead and navigate to create.xyz or xyz and this will bring you to this platform. Now the first thing you'll want to do is have a look at the pricing. Yes, you can create free web apps, you can see here, but you only get 10k credits. You have chat, generate, publish and AI integrations. Now those AI integrations are also capped. So for example, the LinkedIn generator I have created is capped at a monthly usage of credits. Once those are up, the app stops working and the next month it starts working again. So this is really for use in class or for fun little web apps, nothing too serious. Now you do have bigger plans here. You can see 16 a month, 40, 80. I'm going to stick to the free plan. So let's go ahead and click on get started and let's sign up for this free plan. Now here on the left hand side, you will see there are projects, databases and some custom instructions that we can give to create. Now those custom instructions, they are going to apply to all the projects you create. So these are things like, for example, always use UK or US English. Um, you can also put some instructions in there. For example, don't use mock-up data, keep it simple, um, have a clean Apple-esque or Apple-like design that can go into your custom instructions. And then here at the bottom, you will see, you can see that you can invite people and look at your subscriptions and credits. So I'm going to open this up and I still have my 10K credits available. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to our project and we are going to create a new project. I'm going to click on new project. This now opens my vibe coding environment. So on the left hand side, we are going to vibe code, which means natural language in order to instruct the AI. On the right hand side, it's going to code those applications, web apps, and it is also going to give us a preview. Then when we are happy with that, we can publish this and we can launch it to the entire internet to see. For this one, let's create something slightly different. Let's create a story dice generator. Now, I love story dice. Story dice can help our students to generate ideas for when they're doing some creative writing. So let's create a quick story dice generator. On the left hand side, I'm going to type exactly what I want. So I am a teacher at a primary school and want to use story dice for creative writing sessions. Create a web app that presents the students with three options. 
three dice, five dice, or ten dice. When they click roll, these dice are randomly displaying different icons which can be used for creative writing. Have a large selection of nouns, verbs, locations, objects, and settings as icons. Okay, that's just the first step. Let's go ahead and see what our create.xyz can come up with. We're going to just send that to create.xyz and let's see what it creates. Okay, it is starting to build that page now. It's creating a story dice page. You can see it's building it. Here on the right hand side, we will have a demo. We can select objects or look at the code. So let's see what it is coming up with. All right, it is finished creating that page. So let's open that page. On the right hand side, we have three dice, five dice, 10. Let's test it. Five, 10. Perfect. Every time I click on roll, I get some new random objects. Excellent. This took me less than a minute. I now have a random story dice generator I can use in my class. Now let's go ahead and create something similar to the LinkedIn generator that uses AI and AI generation. So we're going to create a new project. I'm going to click on new project. And this time we are going to create not a LinkedInese generator, but let's do something a little bit different. Um, I want a simple web app for children where they input a simple sentence and using, and now I'm going to use a special trick specific to create.xyz. We're going to use an integration. So here you can see at the top, we have some add-ons. I'm going to click on add-on. And you can see one of our integrations is chat GPT. And here on the right-hand side, it does have this little icon, which means that this is not fully free. You get a number of free credits and then you will have to pay. You can use the free credits, no problem. So let's go ahead and use this integration. So using ChatGPT, you will make that single sentence a fun story starter with about four sentences which they can use to write in creative writing sessions. Make everything look good and mobile friendly. Let's go ahead and see what it can come up with. So now we are using an integration. So we are not just creating a simple web app. We're also going to have that web app talk to something else. Create.xyz can use databases. It can integrate with databases. It can use ChatGPT integration to connect to ChatGPT and use its Gen AI to then feed back to the main app. So here you can see we have story starter magic. Write a simple sentence to start your story. And then we have a button that says make it magical. Well, let's test it. Um, a small dog walked past the school. Let's make it magical. And our story is hopefully going to be generated and we can start. One sunny afternoon, a small dog named Max trotted happily along the sidewalk in front of. There we go. We've got that beautiful first paragraph. Now, another thing we can do is we can give it custom instructions. So we can say use ChatGPT using these custom instructions. For example, adding this, adding that, adding that. I'm going to tweak it a little bit more. I'm going to say this is great. Now have the generated paragraph broken up into two parts. Don't make it longer. And the students will have to write in between using their own creativity. 
make everything. Again, we're not coding. This is generating code. Going to tweak this, it's modifying the app. It splits the story starter into two parts, creating a space for students to write their own creative middle section. And there we go. Let's try the dog left the house and make it magical. The dog left the house. Let's see if it can come up with what we want. Perfect. The beginning, Max the playful golden retriever bounded out the front door with his favorite red ball. We have a middle part where the children then have to write and an ending with a waggling tail and big joyful. This can be used in a class. You are providing them with that scaffolding. You're providing them with the beginning, the end of a story, and they create right the middle. This is where vibe coding and applications like create.xyz are incredibly powerful. You can generate, create what you need for your lesson, for your class, for your students. Now, when you're ready to launch this and make it available online so your students can access it, so you can access it, and colleagues, simply go to the top right corner and click on publish. This is going to publish it. You can name it. I'm going to call it Story Writer. Now, now if you're using the free subscription, you're not getting a custom domain, but that is not an issue because you will be creating things that you will use in your class. So you're not looking to create something that is going to be launched to the world. So let's go ahead and click on Publish Changes. It is going to publish this website. I can now copy this link and let's open up a incognito window and see if it works. We're going to paste our new URL right there and we now have our story writer. You can see I can write a simple sentence to start my story. My cat is tired and we are going to make it magical. It's going to generate a beginning, an end, and then it's our turn to write the middle in class. Have a play with create.xyz. Let me know what you will end up creating. Maybe let us know in those comment sections below. Now I want to say a quick thank you to all the Patreon supporters. If you want to watch all these videos completely ad-free and get some additional resources, join us on Patreon where you will get access to everything I post here and more. Now you can also become a YouTube channel member and then you get access to videos early as well as a direct line of communication with me and priority access to all comments you leave. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next one.